Have you ever designed and programmed a complex project for your CNC? Set up a machine, the individual components to complete the project, and then sometime later decided that you wanted to build that same project again? Trying to remember how to set up and machine each part can be a real challenge. Well, in this video, we'll demonstrate a technique that will make it extremely easy to reproduce your project anytime you wish. On June 9th, 2018, Legacy Associates will be hosting CNC workshops across the country. During the workshop, you will learn how to design and build this adjustable stool that features wooden threads, dovetail joinery, and a modeled seat. It has seven individual components that will be machined or turned on one of the three independent workstations of a Maverick CNC. The three-axis table allows you to machine most of the parts on the flat table, including the internal threads. The turning center will be used to turn the threaded shaft and the vertical table will be used to machine the dovetail joinery on the legs and the threaded nut plate. To add to the confusion, the parts are machined on both sides. Obviously, you need a simple way to make a single setup for each station and machine all of the parts anytime you wish. The solution is what some people call a storyboard. I like to call it a setup table. Let's take a closer look at how it works. On June 9th, Legacy Associates around the country are gonna be hosting a CNC workshop where you'll learn how to build this uh, adjustable stool. It features wooden threads, dovetail joinery. The seat is carved and modeled, so it's very comfortable. It's adjustable from 18 to 24 inches, so it can be used as a, a counter stool or as a piano stool, anything in between. It's a pretty uh, sophisticated project. There's seven, seven different components on here, and most of them are double-sided. So we're gonna show you a technique here real quickly, and you'll learn this in the workshop step-by-step step how to build what's called a setup table. Uh, let me go ahead and just open up my program here to show you what it looks like. This is the setup table and you notice that it has all the information that's required to, to uh, cut your blanks, uh, set up your clamps, the low pro clamps will fit into the threaded inserts that are cut into here and it shows you where to position each individual part. So once you've cut this uh, blank out, the setup table, and you put your threaded inserts into it, you're ready then to uh, put a blank on here. Now this is the blank for the leg. And you can see how the low pro clamps fit on, on each corner. Again, it has the threaded inserts to hold those in position. So it always goes to the exact same location. You do one setup and then you can cut on this side. It's gonna drill the alignment holes for flipping it and round off the edges. And then you'll flip the blank over uh, end for end like this. And then we'll go ahead and preview this side as well. It's gonna round off the edges and then cut the blank out. Again, here's the first side and the second side. Now this part's gonna break off, but these right here are the part is actually held in place by tabs so that uh, you can then take that out of the fixture and cut off the tabs and have the finished part ready to go into the vertical vise to cut the dovetail uh, joinery on the ends here. And we'll go to the next part. You'll notice that it fits right in the exact same corner again. We do move the low pro clamps to these new positions and this is the threaded nut plate and we can take and uh, preview Again, the tool pass on this side, flip it to the other side, preview it again. All tool pass, okay. And this is gonna round off the edges. It's gonna drill the hole in the center for the internal threads and then cut the blank out. Now we do leave some pretty serious tabs on this one to hold it in place as we cut the threads into the block, into the block as well. Okay. Again, so there's side one, there's side two. And then we go to the next one. It's in the exact same position, so you have only one setup to do the entire project on the vertical table. You have one setup, excuse me, one setup for the horizontal table, the three axis table. You have one setup for the vertical table to call the joinery, and both cuts will use the exact same setup. And then, of course, you turn the thread shaft between the centers. But you can see here, if we go ahead and preview the tool pass on this side, and carve that seat so it's going to be very comfortable to sit in. We're going to round off the edges and do anything we want on the top of the of the seat and then we'll flip it over to the other side and it's going to cut the rim and drill the round mortise and of course it'll these tabs again so that you can take this part out and have it ready to go into onto the uh, project. So that's a really simple technique again called a setup table. You're going to learn step by step how to program, set it up, and uh, get it all ready to go so that anytime you want to build this project, just pull out the setup board, throw it on the machine, and start cutting instantly. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, then like, comment, and share it with your friends, fellow woodworkers, and CNC users. 
This makes it possible for us to create more content like this for you. To be notified when new videos are released, press that subscribe button and click the bell icon. Also be sure to visit Legacy's online store by clicking the link above or the link in the video description below. Here you can purchase project CAD drawings that can be used with any CAD CAM software or complete CAD CAM project plans for Vetrix VCarve Pro and Aspire software, as well as Legacy CCAM turning software. Last, Legacy Associates hosts CNC workshops all around the country where you can learn how to program a wide range of projects and experience hands-on demonstrations. This is also a great opportunity to network with other CNC users. To find a workshop near you, watch the CNC workshop video by clicking the link above or the link in the video description below. Here are the links again. To learn more about Legacy and how to get involved in the Legacy community, watch the Legacy CNC story video by clicking right here. You can find and register for a workshop near you by watching the CNC workshop video by clicking down there. To get access to the training video vault, click up here. Also, subscribe to Legacy's channel by clicking down here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.